Hey, what's up guys? I'm back. So first of all, let me say I'm sorry that I haven't made a video for probably a little over a month now. It's not that I haven't wanted to make videos, it's just that I haven't really had a lot of free time to make videos for the last couple of weeks. And there's been a load of reasons for that. I've just, I've been really busy in work. We've had an election here in Ireland, which has kind of added to my workload and stuff. And I've just had a lot on for the last few weeks. So I haven't really had time. I'll be honest, I've actually really, really missed it. Um, I find this every time that I take a little break from making videos for my channel, that I really start to miss it a lot, really, really fast. So I'm really glad to be back making a video this weekend. My workload is still a little bit all over the place. My schedule's completely all over the place. So I don't know how easy it's gonna be for me to make regular videos, but I'm gonna try and start making YouTube videos again when I can. And my goal or my aim is to hopefully, relatively soon, get back to being able to make really regular content again. Today's vlog, uh, Frank and I are just getting ready to go out because I need to take Frank to the vet. And I know the last couple of vlogs on my channel, which were like a month ago, were all about Frank getting his teeth cleaned, and he was at the vet shortly before that for other stuff. But yeah, the reason he's going to the vet today is that he just needs to get his booster shots. So there's nothing really major wrong, but he also has a little cut on his paw that we want to get the vet to have a look at. And then it's kind of a busy enough weekend because yesterday was my mom's birthday. So tomorrow night, we're heading out with my family for dinner. And then on Sunday morning, Elaine and I are actually going to Ikea to get a few more little bits for the house. So that's exciting, because we always kind of, we always have fun going to Ikea once you get there early enough to beat the rush. So I'm just gonna go and get Frank together and start putting him in the car so we can take him to the vet. <laughs> We've just arrived at the vets and I'm glad I left myself a little bit of time because traffic was not great and it took me a minute to get a place to park. But we're here now and we still have a bit of time. So I'm gonna get Frank out of the car and into the vets. Frank and I are back from the vets. We're actually back a little while now and I've done groceries and everything like that. We've just been hanging out because I haven't actually been feeling that well today. My stomach's really just feeling off and I think it's just because I'm really tired and nothing else beyond that. But it's not great. As far as Frank and the vet goes, he got his boosters and that's all perfect. And the little cut on his paw, the vet just said that it's really superficial, it's nothing to worry about and it should heal up in a week or two. So there's nothing major there. And she said he's in great condition. So I'm really happy with that. And it's always just great to hear from like the vet that Frank is doing really well. Cause like we see it ourselves, but it's nice to hear it from somebody who's sort of knows about animals and greyhounds and all that kind of thing. Elaine is in work at the moment and she'll be leaving soon. So I'm gonna start making dinner for us tonight. And for dinner tonight, we're having vegetarian chili. And if I'm still feeling the way I'm feeling right now, when it's ready, I probably won't have it. But it'll keep anyway, so it's no big deal if I don't have it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start making that now. So it should be ready by the time Elaine gets home. It's almost 10 p.m. now, it's just going up to 10 to 10 now, and I'm going to bed. I'm actually going to bed really early tonight because I'm really just not feeling great. Um, I only just had my chili for dinner there because uh, I just, I really couldn't stomach it at all when Elaine came home, and she's already gone up to bed now. So I'm just gonna go up and kind of watch some stuff in bed before I go to sleep. And uh, Frank, I think, wants to go to bed now too. So yeah, we're all just gonna have an early night. So I will leave this here for now and I will see you in the morning. Good morning, or well, it's just after 12, so good afternoon. 
Um, it's the next day and Elaine and I have just been kind of taking it easy this morning, but we've done a lot of housework and cleaning and, hold on a sec, it's better. We've done a lot of housework and cleaning and everything like that, so the house is getting really kind of tidy and we're just about to make lunch now, but my stomach still hasn't been feeling great today. I'm actually really hungry now though, so I feel okay, but all morning I've just been feeling really not great. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, once I have my lunch I'll feel better and I'll be over it then. Uh, fingers crossed. But yeah, I just wanted to check in and say hi. We've had Frank out for a walk this morning and we're actually going to take him out for kind of a good walk later on. We're going to head out to Phoenix Park in Dublin, I think. And I'm really sorry to interrupt, but you need to come see something. Okay. While we were cleaning the house, we uh, decided to give Frank a new pillow, and this is how he's decided to say thank you. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't give him the down pillow now. <laughs> it's so funny that he doesn't do that with the other pillows. Funny. We'll see how this plays out, but we might not be able to give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's treating it the same way he treats cotton filler. Yeah, he is, exactly. I think he'll get over it. Like, I think he will start to lie on it eventually, but he needs to attack the shit out of it first. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no. he's gonna see the actual video. <laughs> No, he's found a label. And this is why I would worry with him with cats. <laughs> ah, he's cute. We've come down to Waterstown Park, which is where I used to do my park runs, because I don't really do park runs at all anymore. And we're just taking Frank out for another kind of slightly longer walk than he got this morning. Um, but yeah, it's really nice down here. Like, it's really, really quiet today. There's nobody here at all, which is kind of nice. And what's great is it's not raining. It's cold though, and it's a bit windy, but it's dry, so that's really nice. So we're just gonna take Frank for a little walk around now, um, so that he will be good and tired for when we go out later on this evening. So I'm all showered and I'm ready to go. So Elaine is just finishing getting ready and you can probably hear Frank is in the kitchen having his dinner. So as soon as we're ready, we're gonna jump in the car and head into town for dinner with my family. We're back home from dinner a little while. I had a pizza and Elaine had like a pasta thing and I had some of Elaine's pasta thing and I'll be honest, her dinner was nicer than mine tonight, but my pizza was also very, very nice. Um, but we're just getting ready to go to bed now, so I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. So it's now Sunday, and I'm just back from walking Frank. Elaine and I are heading to Ikea this morning, so I'm excited about that because we have a few bits that we need to get. Um, so we're going to go and do that now. We got everything that we needed to get in Ikea and now we're actually going back in because we're hungry and it's lunch time. So yeah, I'm very, very excited for my meatball lunch.
from Ikea and for lunch Elaine had fish and chips. I had the vegetarian meatballs and now we're just going to go and unload the car. We didn't get a lot for ourselves today. We were going up there mostly for Elaine's mom because she needed us to pick up some stuff for her. So that was our real reason for going. But one thing that I'm kind of excited about is out in the conservatory here we got new bulbs for this light and we got kind of bulbs where you can see the filament they're still in the car so i'll show you them when i take them in but basically we're gonna put those in instead of the bulbs out of there and hopefully they'll look cooler and also i'm gonna take these god awful shades off the lights so the bulbs will just be exposed and i'm hoping that it looks so much better then because i kind of hated that fan light thing since we moved into the house. So these are the bulbs that I was talking about. I'm gonna go and put those into the light now and see what they're like. So they are much better than what we had there. And yeah, it looks really so much better already. It's still not the greatest light in the world and it was never going to be, but that is a huge improvement. And because the bulbs we got are kind of gold, they kind of actually go with the light much more than I realized when we got them. So that's a handy little bonus as well. They're called chandelier lights. And they're dimmable as well, but we don't have them set to a dimmer switch or anything like that. I kind of had half a notion that I wanted to get smart lights in here, but smart bulbs are very expensive, so we're not going to put them in there, maybe ever. Uh, but at the moment, one thing I haven't actually told you guys about at all is in the hall here, in the hall and in the landing, we got Philips Hue lights. So, hey Siri, hall to 50%. Media volume set to 50%. That was not what I asked. What did she set to 50%? Media volume. Just say hall 50%. Hall 50%. Media volume set to 50%. What? Hey Siri, set the hall light to 50%. Okay, I set the hall light to 50%. Hey Siri, turn off the lights. Okay. The lights are off. So it's normally not as challenging as that to get Siri to turn the lights on and off, but yeah, that's kind of how it works, and I think they're amazing. I'd love to get some more Philips lights in the kitchen, um, but for the moment we just have them in the hall and the landing, and they're great. So when we were on our way home after dinner last night, we saw this vegan shop in Stevens Green Shopping Centre in Dublin, and can I help you? Frank's just being dramatic. Anyway, so we saw these Nespresso pods in the vegan shop. Now, these aren't vegan Nespresso pods, despite the fact that that's all I've been calling them since we bought them, wrecking Elaine's head. But they're compostable, which is really good because the general Nespresso coffee pods that you get are really bad for the environment. So these are hopefully a lot better. So I'm gonna try it now and see how well it works in the Nespresso machine and more important, more importantly, to see what it tastes like. So, it's like a paper top on it, yeah. like a filter rather than the metal one. Yeah. And then this is meant to be compostable then. Because that was like stabbed in the end. Yeah. And it went through it. That's mad. So I can go on the compost even. Yeah. But not your household one. I think it says in a different language. Like you can't put it in like your garden compost. I think yeah. it has to be industrially composted. Yeah. Like ours would be. So we just have that in there. And now the most important part is the taste test. Oh, it's nice. It tastes like the Ristretto's, which are these lads here, these black ones. This is a decaf one, but it tastes identical to the caffeinated one. Um, yeah, there's no difference in the flavor between these and the regular ones. Great. Um, so it tastes like that, which is very nice. So yeah, I'm very happy with those actually. And they, 
it might be cheaper than you get 10 pods in the box. I think it was a fiver for, yeah, for 10 of them. And I can't remember how much a 10 espresso capsules costs, but it's probably in and around that. It's my niece's birthday on Tuesday and she's having a birthday party today. So we've all come down to a place in Kildare called Jungle Den and we're going in there to celebrate my niece's birthday now. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. The only thing is Elaine isn't really feeling great so she's at home. But I've come down and my mum and dad have just arrived and my sister and brother-in-law and everything. And my niece will all be in there and a bunch of her friends. So I'm looking forward to going in. dinner tonight we just had some more of that vegetarian chili that I made on Friday it was very tasty and I'm just about to start our meal prep for the rest of the week now before I do I just have to show you something look at the cuteness of this boy he just sat down like this as we were having our dinner and then he looked a little cold so Elaine put the blanket over him and he is very clearly living his best life so meal prep for next week is almost done. Um, I've got the tofu Thai red curries all made and I've got the bean burrito mix all made together. So this is everything we have so far. So these are all the bean burritos and these are the tofu Thai red curries. Um, you see four of these don't have rice and two of them do. And the reason for that is just Elaine doesn't have them as a burrito. So I make two for Elaine and four for myself for the week. So Elaine's ones, she's just gonna have them like a burrito bowl, so she'll have them in those boxes, and she won't have them in a wrap. And then my four, I just need to wrap into burritos. These are my wraps here, and they're actually frozen, because for some reason, I put the wraps in the freezer and not the fridge when I brought them home from the supermarket. So I'm just waiting for those to defrost, and they'll defrost probably about five minutes, and I'll be able to wrap up my burritos then. But the tofu Thai red curries are done, I just need to let them cool, and then I can put them in the fridge. And once I have my burritos wrapped, then I'm done with my meal prep for the week. So that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna leave this video here. Uh, I just wanna say I'm really glad to be back making vlogs again. I've missed it so much. I've missed it way more than I actually expected that I would. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna leave this one here. I hope you liked this vlog. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.